history. Communication without reading and writing. Cave paintings are the oldest pictures. Some of them, for example, the beautiful images in the caves of Altamira in the north of Spain, are almost 30,000 years old. Many of these paintings show animals or hunting scenes. The images do not have written words. But when we look at them, we get an idea of the emotions the people felt when drawing them. The paintings tell stories and hopes and fears. They are the early form of communication. Early forms of written communication. Sometime between 4000 and 3000 BCE, people in Egypt and Mesopotamia developed the skill of writing. They engraved texts on stone tablets first. But it was impossible to carry stones from place to place. The invention of papyrus allowed documents to be moved easily. Writing on papyrus made it easier to correct mistakes too. And do you know how they did that? When a scribe, a person who wrote the document, made a mistake, they licked the ink of the papyrus before it got dry and made their corrections. The history of bookmaking. People made the first book from papyrus and from thin animal skins. Paper was invented in China as early as 105 CE. The quality of paper soon became very good. The world's oldest known printed book is from China too. It was published on May the 11th, 868 CE. In Europe, books were written manually until the middle of the 15th century when Jonas Gutenberg invented the printing press in Germany. Since that time, Almost 140 million books have been published worldwide. For many people, one of life's greatest pleasures is spending a few hours in a bookshop browsing through the books. Books in their most modern form. Books will be around for many years, of course, but some people prefer reading e-books. They are easier to take with you when you travel and you can download them instantly from the internet. Now you can buy your books whenever you want without having to leave the comfort of your home. The end. Bye bye!